Hi student, this is Vakumar. 11th standard mathematics are chapter number 7, continuation of exercise 7.2, now problem number 15. Without expanding, evaluate the following determinants. We can do one by one. Now, subdivision number 1. Here, first subdivision, write the first row and second row as it is. Third row, we can write 3x into 2. Here, 3x into 3. This one is 3x into 4. Now, look at the third row. From the third row, we can take 3x as common. If we take 3x as common, we will be getting 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and x as it is. Since I have taken 3x common, common, which one is left out here? 2, 3 and 4. That is equal to write 3x as it is. This determinant value is 0 because R1 and R3 are identical. 2, 3, 4 here also. 2, 3, 4. Write the reason. R1 is identical to R3. 3x into 0 that is equal to 0. Now, subdivision number 2. Uh, look at the second subdivision. Here in this determinant we have 3 variables x, y and z. Particularly in column 1 we have x plus y. The z is here. The z is missing, z is here, here x is missing, that is here, here y is missing, that is here. So, that I am going for the transformation, I am changing R1. R1 implies R1 plus R2. So, no change of R2 and R3, right as it is, z, x, y, triple 1, z, x, y and triple 1. Now I am changing that R1, R1 implies R1 plus R2, look at that, here we have R1 and R2, add these two, x plus y plus z, x plus y plus z, x plus y plus z, you can write here, here also x plus y plus z. Now, from the first row, we can take x plus y plus z as common. If we take x plus y plus z as common, here 1, here 1, here 1. Write 1, 1, 1. And second row, z, x, y. And third row, 1, 1, 1. Now, the determinant. That is equal to... Write that x plus y plus z as it is into 0 because we have two rows are identical. So, R1 is identical to R3. Now, 0 into anything is 0. That's all. So, problem number 15 is completed and I will be teaching problem number 16 in the next video. Thank you children.